Hi, James here. Uh, just another quick Q&A video. Uh, this time it's from Jenny and she asks about uh, PC DJ software having a little issue. Okay, uh, hi James. I wondered if you can help me with a little issue I'm having with my laptop. Uh, I'm running Virtual DJ and it's a great program but I'm having a problem with beat matching. I spend a lot of time beat matching the two tunes but when I bring them in uh, the two tunes are completely out of time but it sounds perfect in my headphones. I've been on the VDJ website and apparently my laptop is fast enough to run Virtual DJ so is it my laptop's problem or something I'm doing? Uh, I'm running an external USB uh, sound card for my primary sound card and using my laptop's onboard sound card for the headphones. Uh, any help would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. Right now, it's uh, not going to be an issue with the speed of your laptop because um, Virtual DJ is quite light. Uh, it doesn't need much to run. Uh, any computer will really run Virtual DJ. As long as you've got over a gigahertz of processing power and more than 512 megs of RAM and any modern processor, it, it will run quite smoothly. Um, the issue is probably going to be down to the sound card you've got in your laptop. Now, let me quickly explain, okay? Now, I've got a tune. I've got Virtual DJ running here. Now, I've got a tune uh, queued up, and um, I've got the exact same setup which you've apparently got. I've got uh, a Behringer USB um, audio interface for the primary, and I'm using just the motherboard's onboard sound card for the headphones. Now, if I play the tune, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the tune and then I'm going to cue the exact same tune on the headphones as well as coming out the speakers. So the tune you're going to hear through the headphones is on the same deck, it's the same tune at the same speed. Okay, so let me just play the tune. Okay. Let me just quickly cue up the headphones. Right, okay, now have a listen to this. Now, you probably noticed that it was completely out of time on the headphones as opposed to what was coming out the speakers. Now, despite the fact that that was actually the same deck playing the same tune. Now, the problem is the fact that my onboard sound card okay, has a problem with what's called latency, and that's the issue you're having. Basically, there's too much of a delay on the sound card that your headphones is running, and that's called latency. Now, it's not a lost cause, so don't think that you've now got to go out and buy another sound card just for your headphones, okay? You may be able to improve the latency issue on the sound card you've already got. Now, a lot of people think that latency is to do with old sound cards, and all modern sound cards, you know, they don't have latency issues. No, it's just down to the quality of the sound card. Take this for instance, okay, this motherboard in this machine is no more than a year old, it's, not, it's about eight months old, and it was a very, very expensive one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to plug the headphones into a different sound card, which is one that I've got into a PCI port, and it's an old um, Sound Blaster Live. It's probably about seven or eight years old, okay? Now, you listen to the difference. <laughs> Right, now you can hear that that was a lot better, there was no delay, no latency, it was exactly the same time as the speakers. And that is a seven year old sound card. So it doesn't matter about the age, it matters about the quality. And onboard sound cards on motherboards and built into laptops, unfortunately they're a bit of a compromise. So, you know, if they had really high quality sound cards in these things, then the laptop would be not affordable. So obviously they've got to have a balance between it actually working and being good quality and affordability. So it's always a compromise with sound cards. Now, like I say, don't think that you've now got to go out and buy a new sound or another sound card because there is a way you can improve the latency. You can use a thing called an ASIO driver or ASIO driver. Now, there is a free one available called ASIO for All and I'll put a link in the description and uh, you can download it. It's free and it's safe, perfectly safe. I've actually got it installed on my computer. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to install it and show you what to do with it. Right, okay, now first of all, if you've got Virtual DJ open, you are going to need to close it down, otherwise this won't work. So close down Virtual DJ if you've got it open. Right now, once you've downloaded ASIO for all, all you need to do is open it and it should look like this. This is actually version 2.9. I think there's a newer version available now, but this is just the version which I've got handy on my hard drive. And just double click and it will say uh, install it. So click next. Uh, yeah, accept the agreement. Next. I've actually uninstalled it so I can reinstall it just to show you this. It just shows you where you want to install it, blah, 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 install takes like literally two seconds and then finish and you're done so once that's installed uh, load up virtual DJ again right now once it's open you want to go to the little config tab up here and then here where it says sound cards or sorry sound card you want to go down here and it will give you a new option here where it says ASIO driver so you want to click on that and then you want to select ASIO for all and now once you've selected that you want to go to the little thing here that says ASIO config click on that and you want to select whatever sound card it is that you want to use I'm going to use the Realtek onboard one just to show you for an example what you know the difference it makes right now what you need to do now is whatever you do do not use hardware buffer it says here it does not always work and it's true it doesn't if you click that you'll just get a blue screen and the computer will reboot um, what you want to do is just turn the buffer size down slightly, maybe to about, I don't know, 256. About that, we'll try that. And then close that down, click apply, OK. And now we're using the ASIO driver. Right now, we've got the ASIO driver installed, so let's see if it works, and more importantly, let's see if it's improved the latency. <laughs> Not bad. There we go, it's not perfect, but then it's a lot better than it was. But then I might even be able to knock a little bit more off yet. So, you know, you just have to experiment and see how far you can take it before you start getting horrible distorted sounds. When you start getting them sort of sounds, then you need to turn it up a little bit. So all you've got to do is keep turning it down and down and down until either you've got zero latency, like there's no delay, or it starts making that scratching sound. And when it does, in which case you need to turn it up a little bit, and then that's as far as you can take it. Now I can't guarantee that this will work with every sound card because some sound cards just aren't designed to cope with running on really low latency ASIO drivers, they're just not designed for it. Now also I can't guarantee that you're going to be able to get absolutely zero latency on any sound card because at the end of the day no onboard sound card is going to run at absolutely zero latency. But you will improve it a lot more than you would if you was just to use the driver that comes with the sound card. So there you go, I hope this has helped and uh, if you've got any more questions or anything about this just bung a comment below and I'll reply to it when I can. If not, send me a personal message and I'll get to you as soon as I can. So there you go, I hope this video has been a help and uh, I hope you get your problem sorted out. Thank you for watching, nice one. Yeah, check this out, this is pretty cool. I'm using this computer to view the computer next door, which is viewing this computer. So when we open them both, it's like a mirror in front of a mirror. As we enter the new dimension. <laughs> That's wicked, isn't it? Should we um, send the start menu into a new dimension? There we go. Bye-bye. Hopefully people from the future might see that and then find out where Microsoft went wrong. Yeah, let's warp time and space. Have some of that. <laughs> oh man, such a simple thing, eh? Oh well.